just say a few words here, and uh, what we'll do is I'll read a scripture um, about Jesus when he got baptized, and then we'll have Blakely just share a few words about how kind of Jesus got her to this point and her journey, uh, journey to the waters. And if anybody would like to say some encouraging words to Blakely, just on what you've seen in her life, and I don't know, just love and support and parents and friends and family want to say anything to her, um, they can. I'm already shaking. <laughs> it's just like melted ice out there. So it's gonna be um, but anyway, um, let's dive in here and, uh, and we'll get going here. On... Uh, in Matthew chapter 3, we see where Jesus was baptized by, uh, by John. It says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. John tried to detour him, saying, I'm the one that needs to be baptized by you. Do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. Um, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. There was something that happened in this moment with, with God the Father and Jesus the Son, that God says, I'm taking pleasure in this moment. I'm taking pleasure my son and uh, and he communicated that and he voiced that to his son and so Blakely if you could join me up here I would like for us to communicate our pleasure and Blakely the same way that God did to his son that we would to our daughter or to our sister or our friend niece whatever the relationship is so come on down and join us um, so in the same way that the Lord was speaking blessing over his son Let's tell Blakely how awesome she is. Does anybody want to jump in here and talk to her a little bit? I will. Yeah. I, I just want to say how much that I admire your open walk with your faith and sharing Jesus with everyone. It's really admirable, especially at your age. It takes so much courage. And I'm so thankful to be part of your life and I really can't wait to just see how your life unfolds and what plans God has for you because I know that they're great. Another friend from our church shared with me very recently how uh, encouraged she was with you, Blakely. Not that she knows you, but to watch how Brock interviewed you and you told us, you answered every question about your faith, and uh, we need to hear that. We are blessed by that, and we pray a blessing on you. I'll just say that I get to see Blakely for maybe a couple hours after school every day, and from the time she came and I got to meet her and get to know her from last summer all the way through in this summer, I've seen you grow so much, and I know I've shared that with you, that I think the change is evident, and that's, that's what it's all about. You don't necessarily have to say anything, but people can see the difference in you. And I think that speaks volumes to see how much you've grown, and that you are a light, and you don't have to verbally express it all the time. People can just see the difference in you, and I think that's awesome to see. I'm very, I'm, I'm very proud. We're all proud of you. Very, very. I just want to say that it's um, it's definitely inspiring to see that you um, you inspire so many young people just like you, and it's it's awesome to see that. Be like Pat said, being so young, it's truly amazing that you have such a big heart at such a young age, and you have such a strong relationship with such a young age. It's awesome. So thank you so much. I don't know what it is that brought you to the youth group that you came that you come to here at Fairmount, but um, 
I'm, I'm blessed being the youth pastor there at Fairmont. I mean, a lot of kids come there, but Blakely, just, just the transformation in her in such a short time. Um, the seed was planted, and it just went on and on and, and grew, and, and she had questions, and we would answer the questions. She wouldn't understand things, and hopefully, um, by understanding a little bit more, um, she has grown into this awesome young lady, and um, sometimes when the seed's planted, it takes a while for it to grow, but I think God used some miracle grow on her because <laughs> she's just blossoming and, and growing into this awesome young lady, and just be an example for the kids at school too. Um, I say this all the time because it's true. This world is a dark place, but there are um, flickers of light like like Blakely who can um, start a fire and, and just make it burst into a booming flame. And it's just really neat to see how she's matured and grown. And she's right, you don't have to say anything. Um, just the radiation of Jesus Christ in you, I can see, and a lot of people could see in you, too. Especially at our church when you came and spoke. It, oh my gosh, it, it was such a blessing to me, but it was, I know it was a blessing to the people there at church and everyone who sees you. And um, it's awesome to see you becoming that beacon of light for, for people who need, need something like that. So. Scott said that she has miracle grow on her spirit to help her grow as fast as she has. She said, I wish that God would use some miracle grow in my body. So I could grow. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, she's been on the fast track, right? I mean, just how quick that she's got a hold of this thing. Anybody else want to? She has done a, like 180 in personality since all of this started. She was always kind of, you know, I mean, she's always been funny, but kind of held back, a little reserved, a little now it's just like you you just see it beaming from her all the time it doesn't matter where she's at what she's i mean it's all written all over her all the time and i'm really proud of you that you are not at all backwards about sharing it with everybody and going to school and i mean because that's hard at your age i agree it is hard at your age to be able to say, hey, I'm a Christian, I'm a follower, and you know, this is me, love me how I am, accept me how I am, and if you don't, okay, I'll talk to you about it. I like her personality as well. I love her mannequin head videos. <laughs> <laughs> She's always been funny. She's fun.
family and friends that like I'm 100% and I'm like real about it. Like I'm not just like joking. I'm not being fake about anything. Like I'm 100%. And it's like my life is not my life anymore. It's 100% like for God. And I, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome. So why water and why this sort of a scene? It really is. We don't believe that water saves us or that water forgives us or anything like that. We believe that Jesus saves us and Jesus heals us and Jesus washes us clean. But it really is a picture of us going under the water like we've been buried and we come up alive again as a resurrection. So it's a picture of what Jesus is really doing inside of our hearts. And, uh, and so we just kind of have this outward expression of what God is doing on the inside of our hearts. We ready? A little polar plunge here? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go for it. Oh, oh honey, you don't want to go in the water. All right, you stand here. Stay, 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 stay. Stay right there. I'm coming. Well, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> They're cold, but... Yeah. You're taking it the long way around. I am. This is a bit I was hoping I had a good one. Hey, Nora. Go back down. Stand here with a lake in the back, even a little moonlight flashing off the lake too. 